Okay, so, listeners, buckle up, because today's deep dive is a little different. We're ditching the polished articles and diving headfirst into the wild world of a YouTube video transcript. Uh-oh. Yeah, you heard that right. And not just any transcript. We're talking Sosua, Dominican Republic, nightlife. But get this, the excerpt we've got is a little, well, jumbled. Like someone hit shuffle on a night out. Okay, I'm intrigued. How jumbled are we talking? Imagine this. Spanish, English. Phrases that appear out of thin air. It's giving eavesdropping on a very lively conversation. That's kind of fascinating though, right? You're thrown right into the energy of it. Exactly. It's like we just stumbled into the middle of the party. And maybe that's the best way to understand a place like Sosua. I'd agree with that. A lot of times these perfectly curated travel blogs and things, they miss that raw, you know, unfiltered experience. Right. And this transcript, it's raw. For example, there's this line. Mandale saludo mañana es domingo. Send greetings, tomorrow is Sunday. Hmm, interesting. Yeah, even without the full context, you can feel this sense of community. Like in the middle of a Saturday night, Sunday's still on their minds. It's a different way of experiencing time, isn't it? Living in the moment, but also acknowledging that life goes on even when the music's loud. Absolutely. And speaking of the people in the mix, there's this other phrase that pops up. Malandra. Malandra. Now that's a word with some weight to it. It's slang, so the meaning can shift, but generally it refers to someone who's a bit of a tough guy. Yeah, street smart. So depending on how it's used, it could paint a very different picture of the people in the video. Precisely. It's all about the nuances. And speaking of nuances, it gets even more interesting with this phrase. Sipone sentimental. He becomes sentimental. Ah, now this is where cultural context is key. In Dominican culture, expressing emotions openly, even or maybe especially strong emotions, it's not necessarily seen as a negative thing. It's about being genuine. So imagine we have this potential Melandra and suddenly he's showing us softer side. Talk about intrigue. It makes you wonder what's going on beyond these snippets, the relationships, the stories. And isn't that the exciting part? This transcript, it's like a puzzle with missing pieces. We have to think critically, embrace different interpretations, and accept that we might never have the full picture. It's true. And it makes you realize that even with perfectly edited videos, articles, whatever, we're always only getting a glimpse of another culture, another person's experience. Absolutely. And this transcript, as fragmented as it is, it reminds us of that. It's a call to be more aware, I think of the limitations of our own perspective. 100%. And maybe, just maybe, that's where the real learning begins, mm -hmm. right? When we embrace the mystery, the unknown, the pieces we might never fully understand. I think so, yeah. It's about being comfortable with saying, I don't know everything, and being open to the possibilities. That's a perfect note to end on. So, to our listeners, next time you're scrolling through YouTube, or even just overhearing a conversation on the street, remember, even the most jumbled snippets can hold hidden depths. Who knows what stories are waiting to be uncovered if we just listen closely enough. 